Hey guys, Justin here from 420 Consulting with another episode of Follow Up Friday. Filming this episode a little earlier than we usually do. It's Wednesday. We're film, we usually film on Thursdays, but uh, I definitely wanted to uh, reach out to everybody um, with the recent panic that's been going on with our clients. Our phones are ringing off the hook over here. Uh, what's going on with the ACMPR program? But I think it's fairly obvious of what what they're trying to accomplish here, providing more strength to the le legitimate legal market and, and taking away what's called diversion of product from medical growers into the illicit websites and the illicit market. What's my advice to somebody that has an ACMPR license? It stays the same. Make sure your license is up to date. Do not let your license lapse. If, you've, if you have let your license lapse, by all means, get on the phone, talk to your doctor. If you need a cannabis friendly physician, medical doctor, um, feel free to reach out to us. We can hook you up with one. It's really important that you understand that these higher gram total prescriptions are gonna come under scrutiny. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. The average prescription for a personal production license is 36 grams a day. The average prescription for a license holder going into an LP is two grams a day. Okay, so you can see the big discrepancy there, and that's what CalCan is gonna try and tackle. So um, if you got your, your personal production license from a nurse practitioner, and not that that's in any way, shape, or form not a legitimate activity, but if you handed them your license and told them how many grams you wanted and they sent you a prescription back, I would be very, very, very nervous right now. So make sure that your documentation is is backed up by, by medical facts. If you need a medical prescription for because you juice cannabis or, or you need to take edibles or you need extracts because of your personal health condition, then you need to make sure that's backed up. And I strongly, strongly suggest um, making sure that uh, you have your documentation in order, you have your license, and so that nobody can kind of take that away from you because it is your chartered right to be able to produce your own medicine. People fought hard. The Howard Injunction was a well, hard fought fight to, to bring in the ACMPR program. And, and there'll be another fight again if, if, if drastic changes come. So again, my advice to everybody out there, don't panic, but make sure that your documentation is in order, that you have your prescription up to date, you're not over your plan count, and that you're not diverting product. So for all of Friday, this is Justin, and we'll see you next week.